Where's Andy going this time? Well, we're off to Kamchatka, far, far eastern part of Russia. And I thought I'd show you what's in my bag. I'm not going to go through this time what's in the suitcase. That's just clothes and shoes and all that kind of stuff. This time, though, we're going to focus on what we're taking with us gear-wise. I have this bag. It's a mind shift uh, uh, shoulder bag that I like, and I use that to carry everything I need to on the plane in, in addition to my camera bag. So in this bag, I have a little sack full of snacks, coffee and tea and some bars. I have a pillow for the plane. I love this travel pillow. You can see it's from Sea to Summit. And then important, everything that has a battery is going on the plane with me. And so this is my drone. My flying camera is over here. That's the DJI Mavic Pro 2. And then in here are extra propellers in case I need them, the charging stuff, the controller, and three batteries down below. Lithium ion batteries always go on the plane. More camera stuff and battery stuff in here is a bunch of GoPro and accessories. So the batteries also for the GoPro are in there. And then in here, another camera I love, the DJI uh, Osmo Pocket fits in here and it's got a built-in battery. So it and its accessories are in this guy. Last thing in this carry-on is my laptop. Packed up in a Munch protective wrap that we send our clients before a trip. And then some reading material for the airplane, just in case I feel like having a magazine. That's the shoulder bag. Okay, let's take a look now at what's in the backpack. Many of you guys know uh, my favorite backpack is the Mindshift Backlight 26L, and that's what this guy is. So I'm going to go through what's in here. Uh, let's take a look. As you can see, by the way, on the outside is my Really Right Stuff 1 Series tripod. And for the curious, the Arca Swiss P0 monoball is the ball head I love to use. Out here, I've got a water bottle. We now tell everyone on all of our trips, bring your own water bottle. This is very important. We don't want to contribute to the plastic waste, so we have our own water bottle. A pair of sunglasses, and deep in there is a camera strap as well. Okay, what's in the bag? Keep in mind, I'm going on a trip that includes wildlife and landscape. So, inside, and some camping. So I have a lot of stuff, obviously. Uh, my mainstay, Sony A7R III uh, with a 24 to 105 lens. I've got a uh, Sony 1 to 400 lens here, and I've got a 1.4x converter for the 1 to 400 here. Okay, so that's kind of important. And then for, to round out my lenses, I have a Laowa, Venus Optics Laowa 15 millimeter prime that I use for uh, wide angle shots at night for the night sky in the Milky Way. Okay, at the bottom of all my compartments, I keep things like lens cloths, just so you know. Okay, this nice little item, I love this, it's a travel towel. So it's a chamois, and it'll soak up lots of water um, in case something gets wet. So if my camera gets wet, I can quickly wrap it in this and dry it. Here we've got a uh, Vicello uh, a headlight, a uh, headlamp, and it's both uh, red and uh, white light, and that's important. And you'll see this on my kit.com link where we list all the gear we love. Uh, here's a Surefire, uh, very, very bright uh, flashlight that I use. And keep in mind, I'm clicking it. It doesn't work. That's because I've loosened it so that it can't go on accidentally in my backpack. When I get to my destination, I simply have to tighten this like that and a little more. And it works. Okay. Moving on down here. Uh... I've got a mind shift contact sheet. It's like a little mini ground cloth to kneel on when the ground is really, really wet and you still want to photograph. That's kind of important. I love that. This is a rain cover for my backpack. And I'm, where I'm going, it can rain, so I, I need that. More important stuff to carry on the plane. These are um, 
USB power banks. So these are 26,800 milliamps, and I can charge all my USB devices with this. And with this one, I love this one too, this one will even give my laptop a full charge. This is the RAV Power, and it's got USB and USB-C, 26,800 milliamps, so I love that. Okay, making use of all the space is important to me. So underneath my 1-400, to I've got some gloves. These are little gloves that have no fingertips on them. Got these from my good friend Neil Prothero in New Zealand. They're very soft and very, very warm. Continuing on, I got a little pair of glove liners. You can see how thin and light these are. These are from Valorette, and I carry those with me on every single trip. I never want to be without them. Another thing I have on every trip is a beanie. We send this to you if you're going on our trips, so take it with you. I carry that in my bag. And lastly, a favorite pair of mittens that I got in Mongolia long, long time ago. I carry those at the bottom of that compartment. Uh, underneath the Sony body, I've got uh, knee pads. As we get older, it gets harder to get down on your knees, so I carry knee pads with me. Uh, I've got a neck gaiter, they are also known as a buff. And if you're coming on trips with us, we send you one of these as well. Actually, I have an extra one too. And I've got a camera rain cover. This is made by Lens Coat. And if it's raining and you want to shoot, you can put this over your camera and it protects it some more. Very, very nice. Speaking of camera bodies, sorry I didn't show you. In my other bag, I have one more Sony uh, A7R III camera body as a backup. Okay. Moving on, in here, I have my batteries for my DS, for my mirrorless cameras. And important, the charging for those batteries. Keep in mind, I'm carrying everything that's important with me on, the, on my back. Anything that I can't replace in my destination. This wouldn't be so easy to replace. I'd probably have to wait a few days to get it. So I carry this with me on my back in my backpack. This and the batteries, and I'm good to go. And I've got an extra GoPro battery in here, which stays in my pack. Another little charging device I really, really like and use all the time is made by Anchor. It's a small little battery, good enough to charge my iPhone two or three times. So when I'm running out of juice, I have something like this always. And I could also use it to charge my camera batteries if I needed to. All right, moving on, my filters. Also very important, as I told you, I'm gonna be doing landscapes and wildlife so in here i've got my neutral density and my polarizer filters from um, breakthrough dot photography i love it very nice small set last not almost last but not least i'll go to this first uh this is a portable hard drive uh, samsung uh, two terabyte solid state hard drive carry that with me very easy to get at this is a wallet full of my SD cards, so you want to have access to that. I've got those, and I think there's one more thing in here, a remote for my phone to use as a, as a, remote, a remote control for my phone. In the middle, in this compartment, my Garmin InReach, which lets me send text via satellite anywhere in the world. I never leave without that. I'm going to a place where there are going to be mosquitoes, and so in here is a head net to where if the bugs are really bad, I can put this over my hat and still be out in the nature and not be bothered. Lastly, in this pouch is all kinds of little stuff. Wires, uh, plugs, lightning cords, uh, USB-C charger, which will do my laptop or my phone, uh, little adapters for my computer, thumb drives, uh, a SD card reader, lens cloth, a couple extra batteries for my flashlight, little things like that that could get lost. All right, so there is one more thing I do want to show you. We're going to get, this is not something that's in my backpack. This case is another thing that we send you if you go on trips with us. And this goes in that suitcase right there. But it has a lot of gadgets and gizmos in it, so I thought I would show you guys what is in here. Okay, a lot of stuff as you can see. Another head net because I promised I'd bring one for one of the guests on this trip. Okay, what's in here? Uh, HDMI cable so I can do presentations. 
and a bunch of uh, Zeiss lens wipes. And we recommend these also on our kit.com website. Uh, they're great for cleaning my lenses. And then in the pouch, uh, this is a, a plug adapter. Uh, you put this in the wall and then you can have two extra outlets and then four extra USBs. I like this one because not only does it have the USBs, but it has an extension cord that wraps around it. So I can get it behind a bed or underneath the table. It's very handy in a lot of different hotel rooms. Little stuff. Uh, this is a remote trigger for my camera so I can set it up on time lapse. Some more cables uh, for my computer. A knife, which I can't carry on a plane, obviously. These are spikes for my tripod from Really Right Stuff. So when, as soon as I get to my destination, I put those on. And then in here, a blower to clean my lenses and my sensor. A uh, little pocket multi-tool. This comes in handy lots of times. You never know when you might need to use something like this. Hard to do this one-handed, but there we go. So that I bring. Uh, plug adapters for the country that I'm going to. What is this? Why are you bringing Tabasco sauce, Andy? Well, occasionally you might need it for the food. And I do have a couple of clients that are very happy that I have this and bring it along. I'm talking to you, Hakim. Okay, extra feet for tripods because sometimes people lose them. Uh, tools to get at the ball heads and lens plates. This is something I always recommend to people to bring. You find this in the checkout of your uh, supermarket usually. And it's a little kit that sells for about $1.50. And it has that teeny, teeny, tiny screwdriver in there that fixes your glasses. And so if you ever get broken glasses, this has a screw and the little screwdriver. Okay, moving on. A couple of cables, USB to USB, USB to USB-C. USB-C and USB-C on both ends. Some extra batteries. Uh, these are okay to pack in the plane because they're not lithium ion. Uh, extra body cap for my camera. Extra lightning cord for my phone. This is the brick that charges my uh, laptop and any USB-C device and any USB device. So I replaced my standard Apple uh, wall charger that came with my laptop with this one from Amazon and made by Anchor, sold on Amazon. And I really like it because it has both USB-C and USB on it. So that comes with me. An extra lens cap, because guess what? You never know, you might lose one. Extra pair of headphones, because I might lose one. And then another battery charger for my Sony mirrorless camera setup. Why? Well, in case I lose that one that's in my backpack that I showed you, I have the original one that plugs into the wall like this and if i lose that other one i now have this one because if i don't have a battery charger i'm totally dead in the water so it's so important to me i'm bringing two and that is what is in my bags going to kamchatka bye everybody